I'm going to show you here how to access and start to host uh, a meeting in Zoom. So as you can see here, I'm in Google Chrome and I'm in the account that is actually linked to our training. So that's the Evolve training at RUGNL. So I need to log on to Chrome with that identity. So once I've logged on with that identity, and you can see the E here in the top right hand corner, you can even see I've got a specific instance of Chrome set up for that identity. I can just look for Zoom. And once I arrive there, I can click on my account and the account directly is connecting with the Evolve identity, the training identity. It's taking me straight into the right account here. Now, if a webinar has been already set up, you can go into my meetings and you'll see the next meeting scheduled in here. So you can see the dates and you can see what meeting that is. And if I click on it, I can then look at the detail of the meeting. I also have the join link that I can copy and send out and share with others. So it's actually from here that I would start the meeting once the meeting has been set up and scheduled. So the host arrives, sets up the meeting and starts the meeting um, directly from within Zoom on the Evolve training account. The default settings on the meetings, um, we've edited a little bit to make sure that you can have breakout rooms if you need them so that you can uh, put people into other groups and they can have uh, meetings together and then you can draw them back in again. Uh, but you'll find those under my meeting settings. So these are default settings for all meetings when they're set up. Um, so they shouldn't need to be changed at all. They're, they're set up um, in a reasonable way for new meetings to be scheduled. In order to schedule a meeting, if we go back to my meetings again, you will just schedule a new meeting. And in here, you will put the name of that meeting, make it sort of easily identifiable for you. Make sure that um, you put a description as well. Make sure that the time zone you set is the right one. Um, and as we scroll down here, again, these settings on the default are usually fine. You don't actually need to do anything else. So once the room is, once the um, sessions are set up, you can save them. And as you saw in the meetings that are already scheduled, if I come back to that, you'll see them then in this list. Um, and then just prior to the start of a meeting, you'll just arrive here and click start. Hopefully that's all you'll need in order to host or schedule a meeting.